o'clock this week, plowing, sanding to keep roads open and safe. Now, the South Bend Street Department has already doubled the number of overtime hours for workers compared to this time last year. WSBT's Annie Chang joins us now. And, Annie, that means city and county pocketbooks could take a hit. Unfortunately, Rick, if this weather does not let up, street and highway departments in our area could see a major shortage, not just in their budgets, but also their supply of materials, like salt and sand. We're only halfway through winter, but the St. Joseph County Highway Department and South Bend's Bureau of Streets are hoping the second half is a bit more mild. We have February like we had in January, then we're going to have some problems, but hopefully that won't be the case. Both city and county departments say it'll be hard to get their hands on any more salt for the rest of the winter, so they have to conserve what they have left. South Bend has already used 75% of its salt supply and has about 2,000 tons left for the season. The county spends about $300,000 on salt every year and is also relying on that supply. If our materials hold out, and the state has said they're short on salt right now. Now, they don't know if they can honor if people need additional amount. The other issue is money. The county and city do not have specific funds set aside just for winter maintenance. But the cost of overtime and keeping snow equipment in top shape isn't cheap. It's both the, the expense and then the downtime. Anytime a truck is in getting serviced, then we can't have it out plowing snow. The Indiana Department of Transportation says it's already spent more than $31 million in winter operations statewide. That's more than 90% of its average winter budget. But authorities across the board say they are not sacrificing services like pothole repairs and snow removal, and that they'll come up with the money somehow. They will get done. And we're in a situation where this is a public safety matter, if nothing else, so we'll make sure we do the best job we can plowing the roads and keeping them safe. Now, the South Bend Street Department says it can ask the city council for more money if necessary, but hopefully it won't need to. And for now, most departments are able to keep their heads above the water. That's that balancing act, though, because if next mm -hmm. month is just as harsh, it's a different story. Exactly. Then they'll have to take another look at their budgets, see where they stand, see where they can pull in some more money. But, I mean, nice to hear that no matter what, it's going to get done exactly. as far as clearing roads and potholes. So they'll do good. that. Annie, thanks. Mm -hmm. Like almost every other street department,